What is going on YouTube? It's Ed here and today I have a video for you in case you play on PC and you have this issue where you're unable to or the game is unable to save your settings after um, you change them in game. So, you know, generally what will happen is like you go play a game, you know, you go into the actual game itself. Sorry, we're going to let it boot up here and, you know, you're you change your settings like let's just say you know you want to change your sound settings for a little bit or maybe you want to change your hud or do whatever right like you know maybe you have some new bindings that you want to test out and you save this information or you save all your settings but then when you leave the game and then you go back the next day or however a few hours later it basically doesn't do what you want, right? Like, let's just say uh, I go into the graphic settings and instead of window full screen exclusive, I change it to Windows Borderless. I apply settings. You know, I leave. And then, you know, let's just say you go have lunch or you go uh, whatever. You, you, you stop playing for the day and then you come back and it's actually, it didn't save for you for whatever reason. I'm not going to boot up the game again. So, um, apparently a lot of people are having this issue. I don't know by how much, but it seems like enough for, there's at least several Reddit threads on this. There's a few videos on this as well. And for me, I've had it since pretty much when multiplayer first launched and I could not figure out a way to get rid of this. You know, I even tried uninstalling the game, like a fresh install as if like, I've never installed the game before and it still wouldn't fix this issue so obviously not everyone has it but enough people have it i feel like um is a problem so you know people have told me to oh go into your documents go into your call of duty um folder and then you know click on properties make sure this is read not read only or whatever like all this stuff i tried for me for some whatever reason it just doesn't work all right but the one thing that did work was um, this following solution. So first off, you want to go into ransomware protection. So in, for me, this was like a recently used app already. So, but you can just search here in your search in your start or your search bar, ransomware protections. From here, go through allow app through control folder access. So it will ask you for Windows security. So here is where you have to allow your app. So I saw a thread on Reddit where basically this guy allowed every .exe file for Call of Duty. Um, and I don't know if you have to do that, but number one thing you have to do is the .exe, um executable. You have to allow this. And how do you find this? Well, you can either do it two ways. So you click allowed app. So you can either go to recently blocked apps or browse all apps. So you can either go through browse all apps, you know, you, you go into the folder where your game is installed. So for me, it's on my, uh, for on a different hard drive, I go to Call of Duty and I go uh, retail and my .exe. So the launcher is not the same as the actual application. So you have to look for the application. Um, and, and you'll know if it's a .exe, if it, if it says file type application. So I added all of these files to it or all these executables into this like exception or like into this folder. The easiest way is just to go into recently blocked apps. And generally you'll probably find what's been blocked through the Windows security. I don't know why these are being blocked, but they are. Um, and this seems to be preventing for whatever reason, preventing, um, the call of duty app or game from saving for some people. I don't think this is super widespread across all PC users, but it is very common. It seems like it happened in Warzone one and then happened it's happening again in Warzone two. So, um, this is what you do look, as you can see here, I allowed everything. You might be able to get away with just allowing cod.exe, 
um, but or like this executable file and not have to do all of these. Um, but I added it all of them just in case. This won't change anything. Like this won't hurt the game or anything like that. This just basically means Windows security is not going to um, stop certain processes from happening when these things are firing. All right. So as you see, I also added like Witcher and other crap just because like I don't know why Windows security is blocking this stuff, but you can easily find it through here by just looking at recently blocked apps. So uh, I will boot up my game again. Sorry, this is taking a little long. But yeah, this has been this has been driving me nuts ever since uh, for the last like month for, that this game has come out. And every time I had to go back in and out, every time I go back in and out of the game, it just would not save what I wanted to do or it just wouldn't save the way I wanted to uh, whatever my settings were. So after I added all that stuff, basically, for me, at least it fixed the problem. So if I go back into graphics as you can see here it actually saved my preference of windows borderless i'm gonna change it back to exclusive because that's what i play on but this helped me out of all the different solutions out there like running in administrative mode or administration mode or whatever you want to call it like none of that helped until doing the executable uh, the ransomware protection area so that was the number one thing that helped me in this and i hope it helps you let me know in the comments if this has helped you guys and uh let me know if you also have better solutions and maybe even an explanation of why this is happening because this has been happening the last two war zones and it's been driving me crazy so anyway thank you guys for watching hope you have a good day and i'll see you guys out there take it easy